so if you're thinking on ever going on a relationship or <laughs> going on a relationship if, if you're thinking on ever courting or you know being a courtship or dating this is a video for you and if you feel like you're in a relation you don't even need to feel like you are either in a relationship or not in a relationship this video is for you and if you just left a bad relationship or even a good relationship this is also for you hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is the lamia day if you're new here welcome thank you so much for clicking on this video i create content based on faith relationship and lifestyle so if you find yourself loving my content hello please kindly subscribe so yes my loyal gang how are you guys doing because see before i've subscribed you guys are the best absolute best by title you know what i'm talking about today i'm talking about dating mistakes to avoid now mistakes to avoid while cutting so if you're interested in videos like this please let's dive right into it first mistake i'm going to be mentioning in this video is the fact that you have People don't like to enjoy their dating phase. They instead think of marriage immediately. And now I'm not saying you should cut for seven, five years. In fact, one year, I'm not saying you should cut. But I'm saying that while you're in a relationship, you need to feel like you're in a relationship. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. Try and explore, eat different food, play together, have a mentor, drive, enjoy. I don't know if that's, live your best life together. Do you, what I'm, do you get what I'm saying? So, try to concentrate more on your courtship yes you're going to be preparing for marriage whichever way you want to prepare for marriage but most importantly you have to enjoy every phase of your life just the way you, are, you go through primary school you go through primary school right you feel it you can tell the story that okay ah when i was in primary school oh, in secondary school you can tell it so when i was in secondary school oh, now you're in uni you can say ah when i was in uni oh, now you're even working you can say ah that time that was in university do you get what i'm saying so let there be a story to tell okay so the second mistake people make is the fact that they lose themselves in a relationship the fact that you're in a relationship does not mean that you have made it in life okay and the fact that you're in a relationship does not mean that you should not empty yourself for another human being remember that in this life god created you for a purpose he also created your partner for his own purpose or her own purpose so you have to live your purpose while you're in a relationship and at the same time you can both live purposes that you know god brought you the reason why God brought brought you together, you can leave it together. But the mistake people make is the fact that once they're in a relationship, they forget every other thing. They feel like they've made it in life. You're in a relationship, you don't know more than that person. All the business idea you're supposed to have, you don't have it anymore. All the everything is ah, my baby, my baby, my baby. Where will your baby grow? I don't know if you get what I'm talking about. So far, you're in a relationship. You're supposed to live your life. To live. I feel like it is when you're in a relationship that you're supposed to live purpose the, mo the most. Do you get what I'm saying? Not that when I was growing up, I used to hear a lot of um because you're in a relationship. When you're in a relationship, you'll be distracted. <laughs> Hello, I don't think it was like that for me. I feel like I concentrated more. Yes, I know I'm single, guys. You guys don't have to remind me. <laughs> I I know what I'm doing with my life. Do you get what I'm saying? I know that this is the path I want to go through, okay? But some people tend to forget that okay, the they, once they're in a relationship, they just they just leave like live like nothing else matters. Remember you have God to serve. Remember that you have purpose to fulfill. Remember that you have duties. Remember that you have service. You have 30 things to do. But because of their in a relationship, they tend to forget everything they are doing. All for the other person. They empty themselves for the other person. But let me not tell you the wow part of it. Because a man cannot stay with an empty lady. Neither can an empty lady stay with him. Abby an empty man can a lady stay with an empty man so i feel like while you're in a relationship you're supposed to charge the other person's person up let's say you also charge you up do you get what i'm saying it's supposed to be a charging something not an <laughs> empty me empty me empty me no refueling do you get what i'm saying and that mistake people make is the fact that they force their relationship to work when something is not working it is not working why are you forcing it to work? I hear, I hear that a bad relationship or a broken relationship is better than a broken marriage. So what is not working is not working. The truth is that whatever God has dropped in your hands, you will not need muscle for it to work. You will not need it. You will be chillaxing in it. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. So what I'm saying in essence is this. If a relationship is not working, it is not working. So that you don't put yourself in a pit or in a tight corner wherever, wherever you cannot lose yourself. Do you get what I'm saying? If a relationship is not working, it is not working. 
you already know it, you already see it. Some people, if you slap them today, the man will come and beg the next day. They will still continue. The other man too, if she cheats today, the lady will still come and beg. You will still continue again. But the truth is that <laughs> time, I like how time deals with people. It shows you exactly that it still has power over you. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. The mis don't make that mistake. Don't make that mistake of forcing a relationship to work. If it is not working, it is not working. Stop forcing it. Whatever God gives you comes effortlessly. It stays effortlessly. You don't even need energy to make anything work. It's Yes, there will be fights, there will be struggles, there will be challenges and everything. But you know when something, when God gives you a thing, even in those challenges, you find solutions with ease. Even when the solution does not come with ease, when you pray to you, you are sensitive to the Holy Spirit, right? So what I'm saying is pay attention. Don't, don't, don't. Don't force things to work. If it's not working, please let it off. And that point I want to mention is don't date. Okay, date for a purpose. Like some people like to date without purpose. What do I mean by date for a purpose? Some people like, ah, I'm just trying it out. If it works, it works. If it doesn't work, I feel like in godly dating, there's nothing like that. There's nothing like, let me try or let me try. And I'm not now saying that every relationship works, every godly relationship works out. Truth be told, not every godly relationship works out. But out of your hearts in hearts, your intentions are, are key. Do you get what I'm saying? So in godly dating, make sure that you're dating for a purpose. Why are you dating this person? Why are you here with this person? The truth is that if you want to play with somebody's heart, get someone that will play with your heart so that it can be equal. You get what I'm saying? Meet, if you want to joke, meet a joker. So that when two of you break each other's ass, you will shatter together. Don't shatter an innocent man's heart. Neither should you shatter an innocent woman's heart. So what I'm saying in essence is, please, when you're dating, date for a purpose. The mistake people make is the fact that they don't date for a purpose. At the end of the day, they hurt other people along the way. Okay, and that mistake people make is the fact that they are, um, they, they've not healed from past hurts. And they are hopping into the next relationship and i feel like when you've not healed from a past hurt and you are jumping into the next relationship i feel like you are you are looking for a rebound do you get what i'm saying someone to fill the void of someone who has left do you get what i'm saying and it's not supposed to be like that because at the end of the day if you don't heal yourself if you don't get yourself back on your feet nobody would be able to help you back on your feet because at the end of the day your heart is your own your mind is your own nobody would help your mind that's the truth. The mind is a very strong part of the board of our soul and our spirit. So at the end of the day, you have to heal first. If it takes you one year, if it's going to take you two years, heal first before you jump into the next relationship. So the mistake people make is the fact that after getting hurt from a past relationship, they don't heal first before they hop into the next relationship. If you do not heal first, you, you might get disappointed again okay okay and that mistake people make is the fact that they compare their present relationship to their past relationship yes your past relationship could have been good and all of that but why did you break up in why did you break up in the first place so why are you comparing the present relationship to the past relationship it is past yet yeah, past it has gone so don't compare your relationship your your present relationship to your past relationship your past relationship is your past relationship two people can never be the same so far that the other person was treating you this way does not mean that this person will treat you this way i think this is where acceptance comes okay so you need to learn how to accept people the way they are the mistake people make is the fact that they as they don't like to accept people for who they are and the truth is that not everybody cannot bow to you everything cannot go your own way okay so you need to learn to accept who you are with right now in a present relationship rather than compare because at the end of the day what turns people off is the fact that they are comparing them to another person okay so please don't compare your present relationship to your past relationship and that mistake people made and i'm sure i filmed a video on this one too comparing your relationship with another person's relationship i used to say something nobody is perfect and no relationship is perfect is what you is what people want to show you that you will see is what I decide to show you, you will see. I will not show you when I'm saying 
please can you cut the phone i won't show you that part i'm not foolish i will not show you so it's the part i want you to see that you will see so do not compare your relationship with another person's relationship because at the end of the day whatever they are dealing with i'm sure you do, you don't even want to deal with it so all the glamorous part of their relationship is real fine they're in love their relationship is beautiful and all of those good stuff but at the same time it can never be the same if you were to exchange your partner with the other person you might regret it do you get what i'm saying and that mistake now i dropped everything i'm doing for this particular mistake and that mistake people make is the fact that they make their partner their everything why why exactly why do you want to make your partner your everything i'm sure that this happens unconsciously but you have to make conscious efforts in making sure that you're not putting everybody that was in your life aside all for this person because at the end of the day if this person even breaks your heart now them go deal do you get what i'm saying so some people like everything my baby my baby my love my love my everything my can you come can you come when you are sad and it hurts you and everything and you need someone to talk to who do you talk to your family members or probably your friends so if you're not shown your friends or leave your friends aside all for this relationship what happens at the end of the day is not worth it your partner cannot be your everything he cannot fill the void in your life you need certain relationships you need certain friendships for everything in your life to function properly okay so make sure you don't put aside the parts everybody's rule make sure that it's intact and don't put it aside and say okay oh my friends I'm not a at least I've seen someone that loves me, Tori Tom. We have seen people that they love Tori Tom, that their relationship has broken. Up. So give yourself brain. And what? Give honor to whom what? Honor is honor is 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 due. To whom honor is due. And that's it. And that mistake is the fact that people believe that they can change someone. You cannot change a person. The only thing you can change about a person is that you can only inspire a person to change. You can never change a person. I can only, the way I live my life can inspire you to change. But I cannot change you and say, okay, well, these are your, your left hand should be your right hand or your right hand should be your left hand. I can only inspire you that, okay, well, this, ah, my hand is like this and this is how I'm working it out. Do you get what I'm saying? So you can never change a man. Neither can you change a woman. If a person is bad, they are bad. Another mistake people make is the fact that they are not being true to themselves because they are in a relationship. Are you the first? And you will not even be the last. So why are you not yourself in a relationship? Be yourself so that the other person can know who, whom they are with. Do you get what I'm saying? Not that you will not be shocking me tomorrow that, uh-uh. I'm like, uh-uh, when did you start all this nonsense? Do you get what I'm saying? So be yourself. Allow yourself to be you. Let the other person know that. So that you can live your full potential. And a mistake and people make is the fact that their partners begin to take the place of God in their life. Your partner begins to take the place of God in your life. It's not right. I made the mistake, but I've driven back. Day, day. So don't make the mistake. Don't allow your partner to take the place of god in your life god is the one who created your partner god can, will be the one to leave him there or to pull him off okay or to pull her off so make sure that god is number one in your life the mistake people make is that their partner takes the place of god in their life and by the time your partner takes the place of god in your life what happens you believe that your partner will provide the money you used to eat you believe that your partner begins now you start having faith in your partner your partner starts cannot provide those things for you then what do you feel is not good enough or she's not good enough do you get what i'm saying so god is key in every relationship even as human beings as beings god is key so now talk more of a relationship so pay attention to your relationship very well i hope with these few points of mine actually guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video and i really hope you have learned one or two things and if you still have any mistakes that one person needs to know or to learn that i didn't mention you can put it down in the comment section i'm all years i'm here for it thank you so much for watching and please subscribe i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys